This is a short three-part video series all about repairing a Stuart Sun steam engine, and this is part one. A Stuart Sun steam engine is quite an unusual engine, very different from the rest of the range. This Sun engine sits right in the middle of the range. It has an enclosed crankshaft that can be filled with oil. It has a piston valve at the top and single acting cylinders. This of course means they're not self-starting. They're very powerful engines and used to be used for model hydroplane racing. Over the years I've had a few of these Sun engines and they run very well. But what I have seen on a few of them are broken mountain lugs. This is because the mountain lugs are integral with the engine's base plate, which in turn is made from cast iron. As a material, cast iron works very well in compression, but not very well at all in tension. And if the engine is unevenly bolted down to either a bed plate or directly into the bolt, then the mountain lugs can easily fracture, as can be seen here. Someone's had a half-hearted attempt at repairing the engine, and it's not very good, is it really? Two very rough looking pieces of brass crudely screwed to the underside of the engine's bed plate is not my idea of a repair, so I intend to make a new bed plate. First of all though, I'm going to run the engine. And here it is running on very little compressed air, there's nothing registering on the gauge, and it runs very well indeed. And look what happens when I increase the pressure slightly. This type of Stuart engine was really well designed. There are three of them in the series as far as I'm aware. The biggest one was the Sirius, and the Sirius was used in World War II generating sets, which could be dropped behind enemy lines and used to generate electricity to power radios. And then there is a very small engine called a Star. The slide valve events are controlled by a shaft that runs down the engine and is geared to the crankshaft at 90 degrees. It's a very simple and very reliable design, not a lot to go wrong. The only problem of course being single acting cylinders. If you have it in a boat and the boat stops in the middle of the lake then your boat's probably going to emulate a Viking funeral as the engine is not self-starting. Back now to the repair, this is a piece of 316 smile steel. Here it is cleaned up with the engine sat on it. What I'm going to do is make an entirely new bed plate. I'm only removing these hideous pieces of brass because they just annoy me and I don't want to keep seeing them laid about the workshop reminding me of how not to repair things. What I often find is the original builder was not the person who finished the engine and he certainly wasn't the person who repaired it. More to follow, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.